This month's main test is a Mercedes-Benz Arix 3263 before, owned and operated by Canterbury Plains Transport, or CPT, as they're better known. There's an infectious enthusiasm for rural cartage at CPT that radiates through the business and starts right at the top with co-owners Mike Cowens and Richard Bell. Uh, Mike Cowens, Canterbury Plains Transport, and you're just looking at our new uh, 3263 Mercedes-Benz AROC. Um, huge technology jump in the from the previous model, and time will tell to see how they go. A proud history of carding stock with the three-pointed star brand has seen Canterbury Plains Transport recently take delivery of the first of three new Mercedes-Benz Arix 3263s. We went on a run with Luke Henderson to sample some big teeth in the deep blue. If you want the 8 before at the premium end of the new Mercedes range in New Zealand then it's going to be the tooth-grilled no-nonsense Arix. Mercedes-Benz have expanded the option list recently in their Mega Mover Arix sales book to allow a highway variant with all the fancy safety fruit that the big Actros has and lighter high point axles. Good old Kiwis eh, there's only 5 million of us but we still seem to end up getting what we want. The test truck was a slightly transitional version, it did have the hub reduction axles and was missing the advanced safety pack but it did have the driver's side airbags not usually found on the big construction Arix. We're never slow to extol the virtues of the new Mercedes-Benz range and show our enthusiasm. The CPT trucks sported the big banger OM473 15.6 litre blue efficiency motor and PowerShift 3 AMT stirrer. A beautiful combination delivering scads of power and torque, 460 kilowatts, 625 horsepower at 1600 rpm and 3000 newton metres, 2213 pound foot at 1100 rpm to be precise. The thing is that 2,500 Newton metres or 1845 pound foot, whichever you prefer, of that torque figure is available from 800 RPM. That essentially means it takes off with a load of woolly ewes at 50 max like a ute towing a trailer. Inside the 2.5 metre stream space L cab is essentially a Mercedes car like environment mounted at high above the ground. The engine's a beautiful deep muffled background 58 decibel accompaniment to the opulence and gear shifts are barely detectable. The totally flat floor era of big trucks is still a relative novelty with the driver just the other guy sitting in his armchair on the other side of a small room. The combination of the engine's power combined with the transmission's smoothness has real benefits for the other passengers too. Following the unit through the climbs and twists of the Lewis Pass and Shenandoahs, the passage for the stock was silk-like. The condition of the stock at destination is visually apparent and it wasn't just us, Luke Henderson and Green entirely. Prestige commercial vehicles have a special setup for stock units and it's also attracting a lot of interest in the freight market, whereby they can set the truck up so that the top chassis rail height just behind the gearbox is 950mm, which is the pace setter in the big market currently. That has huge implications for crate room and back rub on stock. There's a whole lot of truck here, an enormous cab and 23 metres on 9 axles, but the AMT's quick switch ability from forward to reverse, the torque and the excellent lock for an 8 before means negotiating farm gates not widened since Leyland Comet days is still possible for operators like Luke. We're keeping a calm cool head is all part of a day's work. CPT move a lot of stock long distances and I've always chosen big, comfortable, usually Mercedes-Benz machines to do it. The philosophy has been justified time and time again in reliability, driver retention and business growth. The best summation of any vehicle always comes more often than not from the guy who earns a crust driving it. 
In Luke Henderson's words, if I had to drive another truck now, it would have to be one of these. Read the full story in the May 18 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine.